Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want today. I'm going to be continuing our Medora's Mask 100% run with taking on the Wood Fall Temple. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's time. Let's get started on Medora's Mask. Here we go. Okay. So last time we traversed through the swamp and we unlocked everything to where it's time to take on Wood Fall temple and we started the three-day cycle over again i think maybe the game is a little quiet i'm turning it up a little bit Koneko, tell me if i've got that at the right level and we unlocked a bunch of masks um but the first thing that we are gonna do actually is um let's see that should be down a right okay. oh nope there we go we're gonna slow down time if I could turn back time. Uh, yes, we're gonna slow the flow of time. All right, and then what we're gonna do is, the music's a bit loud. Okay, let me turn it back down. <clears throat> where, maybe where it was before was actually good. <laughs> Oops, um, okay, so we are gonna do, let's see. Now, before we proceed, we're gonna go back into the Happy Mask Salesman, and we're gonna talk to him while wearing our masks. He will tell us fun things about them. What was his voice? Oh, I remember. Why, that's... That's the bunny hood, isn't it? That is a fine thing. It is filled with kindness towards animals. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay, we're gonna wear the next one. See what he has to say. That mask. Mm -hmm. That's Kamaro's mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with the joy a teacher has in finding a good student. <laughs> you have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you. To get my mask. That mask. That is the Bremen mask, isn't it? If you have that, then it would appear you have the qualities of a leader. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I am looking for. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. All right, let's see about the other one. So he will tell you if you bring different masks to him, interesting things about those masks. It doesn't work for the transfer transformation masks, but it works for all the rest. That mask, that's the blast mask, isn't it? That's kind of hard to say. That is a fine mask. It is filled with feelings of gratitude. <laughs> you have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get to my mask. Okay, and then the last one. That mask. That's the great fairy's mask, isn't it? That is quite rare. Normally, you wouldn't be able to get one of those. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay. So as you can see, the masks are filled with feelings. They're filled with feelings of the people that we helped when it was time for us to obtain said mask. So um, very useful. Oh, wait, um, that's not the song. What's the song? Okay. So it's very interesting always to take your masks over to the happy mask salesman and um, see what he says about them. And he will say things a lot of times that relate to exactly how you got the mask. <clears throat> and the masks are often filled with something very positive. They're filled with happiness. Oh, I can't do it inside here. Whatever. Guess we'll go outside. Do the song of soaring outside. There we go. All right, so we are going to head over to Woodfall Temple. It's time to take it on. Yes, we would want to soar to Woodfall. Okay. 
And I always like to kind of start these, uh, start the temples at the beginning of the three day cycle. Most of the time, I feel like that's the, um, the better way to do it. Not always though, not always. Okay, and now that we're here, we need to, well, let's do a couple things. Let's see if we can get fairy that's here. Here we go. Did I get it? I got it. Now, hopefully I don't open the fairy prematurely. <laughs> Sometimes I get nervous and button mashy and that happens. Um, so hopefully that's not what happens. We'll see. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try to not do that. All right. And we need this song. Link, fill up your hearts so you can shoot your sort of power. And when you're feeling all down, your fairy will come around so you can be brave and not a sissy coward. Okay. It's up left, up left, A right, A. Okay. Oh, this one. You actually have to know all six notes for this song. It's not just three notes in a row. <clears throat> the most safe job in Termina and Hyrule is pop maker. It's constantly demand for new pots. That's true, Moody Cow. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you doing? How was your weekend? <laughs> -na -na -na. It's Woodfall Temple. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> yes, pottery is very lucrative. Fly over. It looks like you're not going to quite make it, but you do. You just barely make it. And here we are. Woodfall Temple. Wow. Okay. All right. So, um, very first thing we have to do is um, we need to collect the fairies. We need to collect the 15 fairies that are here. And the best way to do that is to use our great fairy mask. So there's one right there. We just put it on and it flies over. Um, hello, first stray fairy, done. Okay. Um, I've got some notes over on the side of my computer, so I'm just going to keep referencing those to make sure that I do not miss any stray fairies because it's annoying to go figure out which one it is that you missed. Because um, let's come over here. You can see 15. There's 15 total of these little bitches. And if you miss one, it's very hard to figure out which one you missed. Okay. Um, yep. All right. So now we need to switch back to our Deku. And if you missed the fairy outside, there is also a fairy in this pot right here. So you can break that pot and get a fairy. Get in the flower. All right. We're going to fly over here to this chest first. And got our second stray fairy. Yay. Great success. All right. Now we need to make it to the platform on the north side of the room over here. That's like straight ahead. That guy. So lots of flower flying. If you do fall down, you can see those little those little guys in the corner there with little red eyes. Um, there's a bunch of those enemies and you can spin to kill them. But we're not going to worry about it. You saw those two, two uh, sculptulas right there? You want to fly between them because they will come down and try to wreck your shit. So you fly between them and you're good. Ugh, this stench. That place stinks like the poison swamp. Okay, so now um, she tells you that. And you can kill this Deku Baba. All right, and we come down here. And we kill this one. Bye. And there's another stray fairy, the third one. Yay. This door is locked, so we can't go that way. So what we can do is go this way. You can hop on these as the Deku. Um, if you take your Deku mask off, then they will eat you and you'll sink into the poison. But the Deku, they do not find the Deku tasty nor too heavy, so it's okay. You can hop on them as the Deku. And we're gonna hop over here. And we're gonna break all these jars too because, oh my gosh, look, it's another stray fairy. 
some magic. My magic was actually low. I wonder why there's so many. Yeah, there are. There are lots of different types of fairies, and they're all called fairies in the Zelda universe. Um, there's the great fairy. There's like the little fairies that um, follow you. There's like the Kokiri are called like fairy-like. Um, you know, the stray fairies are a different kind of fairy. Um, there's so many. There's so many. All right, so we've got four stray fairies. Yes, that's correct. Okay, this is called the Deku Flower Room right here. Um, we're going to go to the north side, which I think is like right over there. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, that's what we have to do. We go here, and we're going to go into this chest right here. Eee! There's a little eyeball right there. That's interesting. We'll have to deal with that later. Small key! We saw a locked door a second ago. Very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> but for now, let's hop across here. And let's hop across here. And let's go this way. Maybe they're different life phases? Oh, maybe. Maybe they're like jellyfish where it's different life phases, but they like, they look like totally different animals, but they're really not. Dang it. Okay. You gotta pop out the flowers and kill these. <laughs> That's how you kill them. Um, we encountered them in the forest, but I didn't kill them then, I just ran past them. So, very easy to kill as Deku like. Other mini bosses, um, I won't have such an easy time with, but these, no big deal. And there's three flowers in here, one for each of the, the turtles they, they're interested in. So you dive into the flower and, uh, and each one will be eventually like attracted over to it. Like this one will eventually come over here. Yay, the end. Got them all. And then we get... What is it? What is it? What is it? We got the map! Maybe they're different life faces, or maybe it's like the bees and the great fairy produces different types. Oh, I like that they're like thinking of them as like bees. Like the great fairy is like a um, the queen bee, and then there's different kinds of like worker and soldier bees and breeder bees and stuff. All right, so we have a map. We have a map now, yay. Fan-fucking-tastic, we love that. All right, so now we can go back. And we can unlock that door that we saw. <clears throat> Look. Blue, 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 spinny, 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 spin for the win. Unlock. All right, so this is now the block room. We can take our mask off. We don't need that right here. We need to push. Oh. <coughs> this looks pretty light. Well, don't just stand there. Press A to grab it and use the stick to move it. I was just about to tell them that. Thank you. Okay, so we can do this and walk around here. Don't fall in the water because it's poison. And try to kill this Skulltula while it's being very annoying. Ugh, I always really struggle with these guys. We might, let's do this. Let's try to make it easy on ourselves. There we go. And you'll notice that um, the we get a stray fairy. Also, there was moths around this fire, and they are gone now. So, um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I forgot a stray fairy in the last room. Oh, we have to go back. That should have been stray fairy number six. Hang on. Let's go back. There's a stray fairy down there, but we'll get him easier later. Come here. Okay, I think it's in this one. Hmm. 
No, it's in the other room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Put our Deku mask back on. Back in this room. Where is it? Up there. Up there. Okay. We need to shoot down that beehive. That is one of the ones that I classically miss because it's kind of like not in your face and I'm like all distracted by the chest at the time. So it's like, oh, whatever. Okay. Let's shoot him down. There we go. And then we're going to take off the Deku mask and put on the Great Fairy mask. There we go. There, well, now we've got six, six straight fairies. We can go back into the block room. We'll have to kill the Skulltula again, I think. I don't think he stays dead, but we'll find out. Maybe he does, because he has a fairy. I meant to spin, not shoot. Come on. There we go. Die. Thank you. All right. Let's do this again. We're going to push the block. Walk around here without falling, because it's annoying to get back to those stairs. Okay, get some bombs. If you don't have any bombs and you want to use this method, you can, of course, employ the blast mask. Come on down. Oh. Dang it, I missed. Come down. Oh. It would help if you would throw... Oh, it worked. Okay, he dead now. Um, now, before we do the next thing, we need to push this block out of the way, because otherwise we're going to run smack into it. So we got to take this block. We're going to push it forward. Like this. And now we have a clear path to the next torch, which is over there. So we're going to come back over here. And let's get the Deku stick. We only have one stick. We only have one stick, so hopefully this one stick will be enough. Okay, don't fuck it up, Karen. Don't fuck it up. Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Dang it. Okay. Uh, now we gotta pull it and come back around. There is a supply of sticks. I probably should get a few so that I don't mess it up again. My stick burned. My stick burned. Because I didn't walk fast enough. But that's okay. There's more sticks. <laughs> yeah. So you can always get a stick from this guy up here. And let's go out and back in so we can get another stick. Okay, now we have two. These other Deku Babas, they don't drop sticks. They drop nuts, so. You gotta do that one. Alright, let's try all this again. Push the block that way. We can come around over here. I got some more bombs. That's nice. Now, the reason why you want to use bombs also there, even if you want to kill the skull guy with your um, sword, you still do want to bomb the moths 
because if you do not, once you get the fire on your stick, you will uh, attract them and then they'll come attack you. So you want to kill them and bombs is the way to kill them. All right, let's go faster this time. Here we go. Put the stick away so we don't waste it. Okay. You put the stick away like any like any of the 3D Zelda games by slashing your sword, and then the stick will go away. Okay, so then if we turn back around, there's another stray fairy that's up high. We're gonna get our Deku mask out so we can shoot. We can shoot snot bubbles at it. I think it's this far one, or maybe it's the closer one. Oh my gosh, if I could aim but I can't. Is this a bee or is this? Oh no, this is the fairy. There we go. Seven stray fairies. Okay, now we can go into this room. All right, these are dragonflies. I showed you guys how to kill these before. You hop in the flower, boom like that, and they die. Come here, dragonfly. Come here. Do you come all the way over here? Do I have to kill you the other way? Do you come to this flower? Hello? Okay, if they don't come to you, you shoot them down like this. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? Come on. We got the compass. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we need to come up here, I think. All right. <laughs> what do we get? A chest. <laughs> That's true, Goneko. We got a chest. All right. So now we got to carry the torch fire um, this way. And you can see the moths fucking followed me. Little bitches. So they followed me all the way from the one over there. So let's bomb the shit out of them. Oops, or not. I'll just like throw them down. Did I kill them though? Oh, they're down there. Oh, those little bitches, they're gonna come chase me. They're gonna come chase me. It's okay, we have two sticks, it's okay. So now we take our stick and we do this, light it up again. Light em up, 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 light em up, 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 light em up, 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 I'm on fire! And we kill this web. Okay. Bitches, go away. Alright, there's more Deku Babas. You can get sticks and nuts. And then there's that bitch. Okay. Come on. Explode. There you go. Now you're gone. Alright, I think that's where we stop with the fire? I don't think we take it anywhere else. I think we just come up here. Hello, Luna. Hello. I hope church is going well today. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Be careful. I sense a lot of evil here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You can see the red eyes right in front of me. Um, we're gonna put on our Deku mask and uh, we're gonna spin for the win. So spin for the win, spin for our lives. Spin for the win. And you just keep spinning. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Until they're all dead. Spin, spin, spin. So, if you do everything perfectly in this dungeon, this is the only room you'll encounter these little guys. But they are in some other rooms. 
Get him. There's the Is that the last one? Nope. Oh my gosh. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. There we go. Got them all. Oh, the kids are off the chain 20 more minutes. <laughs> the children have been unleashed. Okay, so what's in this chest? Oh my gosh, it's Stray Fairy number eight. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> And now we need to figure out how to get out of this room. Best way to get out of this room, take off our mask, and we're gonna light some fires. We're gonna light some more fires. So I don't know if you noticed while we were running around. Oop, I didn't mean to put the mask back on. Um, there was some fire, some torches. And then there's this one in the middle. So there's three of them around here. That's one, two, and a three. Flash our sword so that we don't burn our stick. And now the door is open and we can get out. <clears throat> okay, now we are in this room. You can see there are Deku flowers and platforms and dragonflies here to harass the fuck out of us. So this is, this is the flower maze. So we cannot get the dragonflies to come over here, unfortunately. Uh, they won't. Um, and you can see that down at the bottom, there's a bunch of pits and holes. So we don't want to fall here. And the dragonflies are a big falling hazard. Because if we fall, we could easily land in one of those holes. So we're going to try to make it over to this platform. And then let's see if the dragonflies come here. And we can bust them up. <clears throat> are you guys going to, you guys going to come hang out? Okay. We can take a risk and just fly over to the other platform because most of the time they won't come over here. But when you go to that third flower, they're going to come and try to attack you. Um, so what's safer and now let's see if I can pull it off because I already dove and I probably shouldn't have done that. What's safer is to just try to shoot them from this platform right here instead of um, trying to lure them over and pop out. So follow the platform. Oh, shit. Come on. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole, Link. Just go over here. There we go. Oh, he followed. I guess he noticed me. All right. So that's one down. Let's see if we can fly back to the platform over here and get the other one. These flowers are just far enough apart that it's actually kind of challenging. Yeah, got him. Okay, now it's safe. And the dragonflies won't knock me down out of the air. Ooh, what are you having for dinner, Koneko? Pop. Pop, pop. We'll wait to do the L shape back over here. About and fly to the end. Yay, I did not fall down the hole this time. That room can be a little challenging if uh, if the dragonflies give you a lot of trouble, which they definitely can. They're very annoying. Okay, so we want to transform back now. And we need to press this switch. And that gives us a little way back down. So this is that same big room we were in before, but we're on the upper part now and we can see some things that we didn't see before. Yes, replenish my magic, thank you. Oh my gosh, Tattle, what? Look, from up here, we have a better view of the shrine below. Yeah, we do, okay. And there's also a fire and then there is a torch down there that uh, Tattle's trying to point us to. But we don't really have a good way to uh, jump that far with our Deku sticks. So, oh shit. And I knew I was gonna do that at some point. Press the C stick. I'm using a stick for it instead of buttons and release the fucking fairy. That's okay, that's okay. It's not a big deal. We don't really need the fairy and we can go back and get one from the beginning if we need to. All right, so there's this stray fairy over here, which you can reach easily. You just pop the bubble and here we go. We got our ninth stray fairy. <clears throat> 
So then, let's see. Yeah, we're back here. All right. And we're gonna go through this door. I think that's right. Could be, yeah, this door. Um, okay. I'm just doing a couple things to my <clears throat> notes here. Okay. Um, and then we want to go down here. I'm gonna go through this door. <gasps> What's this? Dino foes. All right, these little bitches. Don't you fire me? No. Mm. Stupid dinosaur. Oh. No. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for trying to light me on fire. Nobody lights my fire. Okay. What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Come on. We got the bow! Okay, if it wasn't obvious you were gonna get the bow in here because of the eyeball and clearly having to shoot the fire. There we go, we got the bow. We got our bow. The bow, the bow. All right, now, oh my gosh, right here, right after we got the bow, there's an eyeball. <laughs> and we need to shoot it. So we're gonna stand right here and we're gonna shoot the eyeball. I can't aim though. Let's see, I think it's like it's right here. Oh. Uh, too far. You can do it, I did it. Yes, I have no aim. This is gonna be a problem later. Problem for, for very near in the future, Karen. <laughs> okay, so now that uh, little lifty thingy, the little lifty flower is there. So we can dive into the flower <clears throat> and we can go over here, this door. We couldn't really reach well before. But now that there's a flower, we can. Wait till I go back up. And we fly, fly, fly. All right. <clears throat> uh oh, we're locked in a room again. Uh oh. I think I have to hit him with this. I guess the spinny only stuns him. Bitch. Okay, that part's not too bad. Now we come to the challenge. We come to the challenge. Uh, so we gotta knock him off the turtle. Let's get him knocked off the turtle. Ah, uh, bitch. Oh. Right. Too, too quick. Okay, so you knock him off his turtle. He always drops arrows. You take off your mask. You, uh, you shoot, shoot your arrows without any aim, and you gotta find him. You gotta shoot him. So, usually takes me a while. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? And he's gonna jump back on his turtle at some point. Oh my god, where'd you go? Okay. Oh my god. And he knocks me over. Okay, Link, get in the flower. Nope. Try a different flower. A little easier. And you just got your, your bow and arrow, so I think they assume you're gonna be shit, just like I am. <laughs> and so they, he always drops arrows, luckily. So with persistence and patience, you can do it. There we go. Got him. 
You gotta do that like three times or something stupid like that. Oh, too soon. Late! Alright. Come on back! Where are you? There you are. Got him. And there's no, like, alternative way to do this. You have to hit him three times. Um... Oh, I picked up the arrows that time. While I jumped. There's no, like, oh, you hit him and then you can slash him with your sword or anything. By my arrow, you little bitch. Oh. Uh oh, I lost arrows. Uh, is there any pots or anything in here? Is it you just have to pop them off? But dang it. I'm just trying to kill you. I need to do one more. Here we go. Give me some more arrows. Twice, I can do it a third time. Here, where are you? Hello, sir. I would just like to shoot you, that's all. So close. Dang it. And then I ran out of arrows. I wish there was like pots in here so I could get a few more. knock him off again and get more arrows. Come here. Hmm? Why do I keep doing that? I don't know what I'm pressing. What? Why did you do that so fast? 
He barely even crawled around. Whatever. More arrows. Where are you? Haha! -ha! Did it. And somehow the turtle shrinks too when you kill the frog. Oh, and he becomes a cute little frog. So we can't do anything with the cute little frog right now, but we do need to remember that. And I am going to have to kill this bitch again, probably. <clears throat> Alright. What we get, what we get! Da -na -na -na, we got the boss key! Heck yeah! Alright. I want to show y'all next something really cool. Arena up. Down left. Yeah. If you play the Song of Soaring while you are in a dungeon, then you will soar to the entrance of that dungeon. So we're going to do that right now. Because there's a thing we can do between 3 p.m. and midnight in Clock Town, and right now it is between 3 p.m. and midnight. So we're actually going to leave the dungeon for a second, and we're going to do that thing. So now that we're at the entrance, we are going to leave the dungeon. And we are going to Song of Soaring. And we're going to go to Clock Town. Before this, we need to wear our trusty bunny hood. Yes, it's the year of the rabbit, and uh, and Link is is uh, he's interested. He's um, celebrating the Lunar New Year. He uh, he loves that. It's one of his favorite holidays. I can't remember. Is it up here or is this the mayor? Okay, yeah, that's the mayor. So it's in the northern part of the West Clock Town. You can only do this between 3 p.m. and midnight on the first day. <clears throat> and it is recommended to get the bunny hood for this because it makes it easier. So we're going to go in here. We're going to talk to the postman. So this is the post office. It's the night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Okay, let's do a save state. All right, all saved up. Four, five, six. Wow, those ears! Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds at the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot. Press A again. So this is what you do. Now, if you keep the bunny hood on, the clock that you're going to see in a second stays up the whole time, making this much easier. If you take the bunny hood off, the clock is only there for the first few seconds, and then you really do have to estimate. So it's very, very difficult without the bunny hood. It's pretty difficult with the bunny hood, too, but let's see if we can do it. Nope. 10.45. That's too slow. Yep, we're gonna try again. Two rupees. Yeah, we're gonna keep trying. Dang it. Too slow. Yes. We're gonna do this. Oh! Or I could just slam the button. <laughs> yes, we want to try again. <gasps> Yay! That
that didn't take too long. I did it. Okay. That's amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. So there you go. Peace of heart. Peace of heart that you can only get in the afternoon and evening time of the first day. I can't be like this. I have to train more. More! Okay. You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. The postman whose priority was delivery was added to your notebook. Okay, so he's happy now. And he gives us a piece of heart. I think, no wait, I think there is more that you can do with the postman. But we're not going to do it yet. So recommend to do that after you get the bunny hood. Alright. Now we're going to go back to the uh, temple and finish it. Back to Woodfall. <clears throat> now we have to go back to that central chamber now that we have our bow. And we have to we have to do that. Okay. Let's uh, Oh, let's get Let's get our fairy again. Here we go. Yes. And try not to waste it by accidentally flicking the control stick in the wrong direction. All right, let's fly back. Dragonflies, don't you fuck with me. Do it. All right. We already got the fairy in here, so I thought I'd use the other flower this time. Pretty sure you can still make it over here, right? Yes. Just barely. And then fly between the sculptulas. Between. There we go. <clears throat> and now we're back in this room. And uh, an annoying ass Deku Baba. I guess you just like really want me to have a stick. There we go. Oh, uh, we can go back down here. And some nuts. Thanks for the nuts. Now remember we made that shortcut here. So it's no problem to get back to where we were. We can just climb now. By pushing that button is important. All right, Tattle, what the fuck? <sighs> you already told me this. Look, from up here, we have a better view of that shrine below. Yes, I know. And now that I have a bow, I bet I know what to do about that. There we go. First shot. Mm. Look at that. The water's not purple anymore. It's blue. It's blue. So we have purified the water inside of the temple. So that's very useful. Very, very useful. Uh, let's see. You can just like jump and get to that middle flower, but I like to fly because I'm good at falling. Although now if we fall, it's not nearly as big of a deal because the water's not poisonous. So you can just swim. No problems. Okay, so we are here. Let's get out our bow again. All right, um, let's see. I'm just looking at what I'm supposed to do because there's a stray fairy in here. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, we need to shoot through the torch in the northwest corner. Welcome back, Koneko. What did you, um, what did you have for dinner? Where is the northwest corner? Oh yeah, here we go. That's where I'm supposed to shoot. Dang it, and I pushed the wrong fucking button again. Keep doing that, wasting my stupid fairies. Thanks, fairy. I, I wasn't hurt or anything, um, but thank you all the same. I appreciate it. Okay, where's the corner? There it is. Okay. 
Chicken cauliflower dish. It was very bland. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. I don't have good... Yeah. That. Good. The fire. Dang it. Spinny, spinny, spin. Spinny, spinny, spin. You spin me right round, baby, right round. The deathly flower right round, round, round. Ugh. Too far on either side. You can do this. No, you can't. You've done it before. Ah! Robbed! That was it! all of my freaking okay hang on <sighs> i'm going to use up all of my arrows okay i need more arrows uh where would more arrows be i guess down in that corner where is it yeah down here but these ones have some cheese so i grated cheese on it and then it tastes like cheese well there you go cheese saves everything there's some arrows and some bombs. <laughs> Come on, give me more arrows. No, apparently not. Oh! I meant to do that. Uh, Link wanted to go swimming. He told me so. He said swimming would be really fun right now. Let's take a little dip. I'm kind of warm. Because of messing with all this fire. All right, let's try again. See, even if you can't aim, you can play Zelda. Um, I will get this. I will get this. I've done it before. Just difficult. Hey, there we go. Told you. Told you I could do it. Okay, so now see if we can jump over there. Whee! Whee! Yeah! All right, now we need, um... <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, then we need this guy. We fly over. You gotta fly over with the Deku, but then it's a switch. So you gotta take off the mask and press the switch. And now we've got the chest over there. Okay. And we can dive. We. I think this is a straight fairy, I think. Oops. Give me that stick. Yay, stray fairies. This is our tenth stray fairy. Um <clears throat> Now we got to go through the yeah, down here. We gotta go back to the block room. So if you guys remember, there was a fairy that was under that bridge in the water, but the water was all poisoned at the time. So now that we have um, clarified the water and, uh, and it's good, we can come over here and we can get this fairy. Come here. Come to me, fairy. Or, you know, don't, that's fine, whatever. Just put on the, put on the mask. Or don't. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like right there and it wouldn't come to me. Anyways, if we come up here and we put it on, it'll, it'll come to us. There we go. All right. So that was 11 fairies, right? That's what it said? Just make sure. Yes, we've got 11 fairies. Okay, good. That's how many more fairies we have. Oh. Okay, so now we need to go here. Okay. Right? Oh no, I have to go this way. You Climb up here. Link, you're so cute with the bunny hood. Now we go through this door. And now we are finally in a brand new room. Um, I want to first... Where's my arrows? I want to first try to kill those dragonflies because they're going to be little bitches. If I can do it. Are they too far away? Might be. Dragonfly. A little closer. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Got him. Let's get this fairy, too. Come to me. <clears throat> Yay. All right, so that's number 12. And let's put the bunny head back on. Whee! All right, now this is called the alcove room, because if we turn around, there's all these little alcoves on the side right here. And these alcoves um, have a bunch of stuff in them that you can get, namely, stray fairies. So here's another stray fairy. So when you enter this room, you should have 11 stray fairies and the rest of them are all in this room. Another one. Fourteen, and there's number fifteen right over there. So we can hop back down and go up the other alcoves. There we go. Yay, we got them all. All right, so now we want to actually take off our mask for a second. We don't need the great fairy mask anymore. We're done with that. So we want our arrows. And we want to shoot this switch over here from this spot. I could aim. There we go. Got him. And now we're going to quickly put on our Deku mask. And we're going to dive into the flower. We're going to come over here. Oh, shoot. That was not what I meant to do. Whatever. We fucked it up. We fucked it up good. That's okay. We're going to do it again. We got to get past that fire, basically, by doing the switch. There we go. Yep, so it's back. Go. Come 
down. Go down. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. I want him to... Ugh, I forgot the sculpture that was there again. Bloop! Alright, jump down. You don't die from the skull again. Okay. Stupid spider. Maybe I should... No, I gotta do the switch first, so I can't fly over there first. I was thinking, oh, maybe I fly to that Deku flower first, and then I fly to the switch, but that's not right. You said go down, the game said yes. Uh, maybe... Okay, let's try it from here. Maybe this is what I was supposed to do. I just didn't write it very well in my notes. Oh my god. I'm close enough, game. Just grant it. There we go. Now I won't be too high. Alright, look at this. Here we are. Some hearts, because <laughs> this is the boss room. Okay, you guys. Um, are you ready? Are you ready to uh, invade Shrek's swamp? <clears throat> I'm ready. Let's go get him. Mass Jungle Wario Odalwa, all he wants to do is dance, and all we want to do is stop him. Um, you can, like, oh my gosh, okay, Tattle, talk to us. If you get close to him, you'll be beaten. Do you understand me? Yes, Tattle, I understand. However, I'm gonna ignore you. Bitch, come here. Literally, you just have to slash him. I don't know, like, why I'm struggling to hit him. Come here. Come here, bitch. There's no, like, special thing that you have to do for this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> um, he really, it really is, like, just hit him. You know, he has, like, phases and stuff. But you can kind of ignore all that and just hit him. Now, in the DS, like, remake, there is, like, gimmicks to the boss and you have to like hit certain weak spots. Oh my god, if I walk into a sword, that's a good strategy. Oh yeah, he'll dance and he'll do this and like shit will fall from the ceiling. La bomba, la bomba. Oh my god. Where's my bomb mask? Oh, that's not what I meant to press. Boom. Where are you, bitch? There you are. Stop running away from me! I swear he's not very hard. I guess it's hard to do this in stream at the same time. I usually have like absolutely no trouble with this bitch. Come on, just die. Just die already. Oh my god. I guess the bomb mask is out of explosions. I'm here. I want to kill you.
Stop dancing everywhere, you dancing fool. You dancing fool. Hi. Give me that heart. Barbalala Bamba. Barbalala Bamba. King of the sea. No poo de Come here. Come on. I know, I know, I know. You just want to sing I'm a Believer with all of your swamp friends, but I'm not going to let you. I swear there's only like one more hit left, probably. Oh wait, I guess not. <laughs> He's taking so many hits. Come here. Oh my god. I'm actually losing a lot of hearts. There's a heart. Where are you? Don't spin. Just die! Give me them hearts. There we go, now he's dead. <laughs> I think he's saying La Bamba. I always hear La Bamba. <laughs> Alright, we got his ass. Finally. And we get a heart container! Yay. And we get... Odalwa's Remains. Okay, you've just freed the innocent spirit that his, this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil Odalwa. So he's good Odalwa now. Cutscene. What's that? He is all legs. Wait, listen. It seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there, get your instrument. Oh, it's a new song. Did it. Purple song. The Oath to Order. <laughs> That's what Odolwa says. His Vogue cover is literally just like waist down. Because they can't fit anything else in the frame. <laughs> You learn the Oath of Order. All... That's what it's saying. Right. Ow. <gasps> Why 
what's this? Oh my gosh, the water's not poisoned anymore. Yay. And there's a new entrance. Poor people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, you're pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey, um... All that stuff I did to you, um... Horse, I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologized, so don't hold it against me. Got it? Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. We turn around and suddenly there's this. Now, this kind of looks like you might need to set it on fire or something, but no, you just slash it with your sword. And oh my gosh, who's that? What? Who are you? Link, pleased to meet you. I'm the Deku Princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Ah, oh, just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like a monkey. So, the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think the monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, about that. So, uh... Yeah. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually going to do that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Oh, she mad. Well, well, we haven't got any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Link, could you please find something to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? <laughs> okay, so here's what you're supposed to do here. Princess goes in bottle. Princess goes in bottle. Unlike Ruto, who makes you just carry her, um, the Deku princess is a little bit nicer, and you can put her in a bottle. <laughs> she says she'll be fine if you hurry. <laughs> so we're gonna hurry. Ah, Mr. Link, there's an, no time to lose. H hurry, take me to the palace. All right, so let's take her to the palace. <laughs> Before she runs out of air, because I'm pretty sure there's no air holes in that bottle. Yeah, Deku princess really small. Okay, but before we go there, actually, um, we need to swim across uh, back to the back of uh of this little area because there's something we have to do first <clears throat> yeah she's small she's small and she can shrink like pokemon the cork lets in air god i hope so i hope it lets in enough for the deku princess all right so before we leave this little area we got to come over here We gets to go in this little cubby hole right here. Ah, dang it. Okay, apparently I have to go that flower first. Can't make it from this one. Remember, it's proximity, so if you can't make it like that, like you just saw, it's not like trying again. My audio is throwing a fit. I'm sorry, Koneko. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do when that happens. It doesn't say I'm missing any frames or anything. Is it the game audio or my microphone? There we go. All the stray fairies are back with their massive fairy. Oh, it's just the game audio? God, I don't know. Sounds fine to me. 
So it's got to be something of how it's going through to Twitch. Game audio is skipping weirdly. It doesn't say it's doing that in OBS, so it must be the way that Twitch is rendering it. Um, I'm not sure. If OBS isn't finding the error, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Oh, strong young one! I am the Great Fairy of Power! Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you the prowess with this new sword technique. Alright, so you do want to get all 15 stray fairies, because the great fairies give you good shit. So, sword technique, what does that mean? That means that we are going to be able to do an enhanced spin attack. You mastered the spin attack. Press and hold B with your power. Yep, and it's going to do unleash a whirlwind. So, um, we're basically, we're doing the, the spin attack that you guys are all used to in every Zelda game. Come see me again whenever you are overcome by weariness. Alright, let's put our bunny hood back on. Whee! I'll show you. Now, when we hold B down, we can... Wah! And it uses up a little bit of magic. Whee! Now we can proceed. And you can see, since we purified everything, there's not really a lot of enemies around here. The enemies were mostly gathered because this um, place had been corrupted by uh, the evil mask that Adolwa was trapped in. But he's good Adolwa now, so we don't have to worry. Oh my gosh. Mow the lawn, Link. Go. Oh, I meant to pick up that magic. Oh well, that's fine. It's just a little. We don't need it. All right, and since everything is purified, we don't have to like do any kind of crazy navigation. We can just, we can just jump, jump, Whee! and we can swim. There we go. We can go talk to the king. They're still not gonna let us in. This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Okay, well, I'm not an outsider now. Sup? This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom! Only those with official business may enter! But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king! Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever! Don't worry, I got everything I needed from the other areas. I don't need them anymore. The Deku King's chamber! Why are you waiting, Mr. Link? Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, honey. You don't have to be in the bottle anymore. Uh, hurry! Oh, my princess! My darling princess! You are alright? I was so worried! I don't remember what his voice was. Maybe it was that. Foolish father! And she bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Apparently, Deku bellies are much sturdier than human bellies. What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant! She mad. You can see it with her cheek all red up. That's not gamer girl makeup. That's her being mad. I'm gonna get redder. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Why, yes. Thank you, Mr. Link here. Thanks to Mr. Link here. I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Link, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. Yeah, I did it. As a symbol of our gratitude, the butler... Oh, this is the lady. As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that is to your right when you leave that palace. Okay, so we gotta go around to the shrine to the right. So let's do that. Oh, monkey's still hanging out here. What you got to say? Link, I'm sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and Deku scrubs can start getting along again. You know, the swamp may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. I don't know, Mr. Monkey. I don't know. All right, so let's see what we got going. It's getting worse. I'm so sorry, Koneko. I'm so sorry. What if you refresh Twitch? Does that fix it or is it still bad? Maybe that will tell me if it's on my end or, um, or not. Aww. 
I didn't quite make it. Okay, let's try that again. I should have made it. we go. It didn't fix it? Okay. Hang on a second. Let me pause really quick. Well, actually, let's go back out there where we have music going. Okay. All right. Recording is unpaused. All right. We're we are going to do this last thing, though, before we're done with Zelda. So here we go. So I'm going to take this off. And we're going to put on the bunny hood. Because we have to race this man. Link, I am truly thankful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Please, follow me. Okay, so you got to race him. This is way easier if you use the bunny hood. Um, he does have rubber band technology. So, just like a lot of stuff in this game, so he will, um, be... Shit. I can't talk and do this at the same time. So, ugh, we might have fucked up. So he will slow down a little bit if you fall behind. Ah, shit. Oops. Well, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. The money hood may be jumped too good. Okay. I know, I know. I know. And you can see as you go, those doors were closing. So, like... There is a point where, like, you kind of... Can't proceed. Always get off right there. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so he'll go faster when you get closer and go slower if you get farther away. Invisible walls. Without the bunny hood, if you fall behind like I've done a couple of times, it's really hard to catch back up. And that part is cheatery. He's flying, so he can't slip back down like I did. I can if I miss the stairs. Same thing with this bit. Cheat. Cheat. Oh, shit, I didn't have my bow. Ah! Did it. Yay, we made it! The end! Well done, Link. Now, here is the item I promised. Please accept it. The Mask of Sense! Okay, 
So this mask heightens your sense of smell. Um, you can use it to find mushrooms and some other fun stuff. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow, I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. I am afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still a fast competitor, just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. All right, so then we can just teleport out. Um, now, his son is missing. He, uh, he has not been able to find his son uh, at this point in the game. Um, so this poor man is really missing, missing his son. All right, let's put the mask back on. All right, <clears throat> so that's all, those are the things we need to do like after the temple. Um, there are a couple of other things that you can do now that uh, the swamp is purified. So now that we don't have poison water anymore, there are a couple of things that you can do inside of the swamp. Um, namely, <laughs> two of the hardest mini games in the whole freaking game. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's two target practice mini games, and uh, and we can do them now. And so here's what we're going to do. They are very, very, very challenging. But since we have the bow and we have the swamp purified, now is the perfect time to do them. So we are actually going to play the ocarina, Song of Soaring, and go back to the swamp entrance. Yep, Song of Soaring, and we can go to Southern Swamp, yes. <coughs> And we are going to save state. We're going to save right here. Save. Okay. So we're at the beginning of day two. We saved our state. So we have lots of time before the end of the cycle to try to do those two mini games. <laughs> but we're not going to do them today. We are going to save that for next uh, Sunday. So... Let's go back. Here we go. All right. Make sure my states stays. My states saved. Yes, they did. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So next time on uh, Legend of Zelda Matura's Mask, 100%. This is the part where we find out if Karen can actually do a 100% run of this game on stream, if that's something I can do. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, lot, of, lot of Spotify tunes in the background um, because this is going to take 100% of my concentration, and it's two mini games in the swamp that you got to do, and then one mini game in Clock, Clock Town that we can do later if we choose to, that all involve using the bow and arrow now that we have it. And we get pieces of heart for that as well as quiver upgrades. So, so we got to do them. So we got to do them because we definitely, we definitely want those. <laughs> Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and, well, I guess we gotta stay, say goodbye to YouTube. So uh, people watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.